I'm going to just delve into a little bit like what the future looks like at the moment. Okay. Because obviously it's a very uncertain time, certainly for our industry. We've come out of lockdown. We're all excited to be back at work. But kind of the scars from the last 12 months are kind of still lingering. Are we going to go back in? Are we not going to go back no. in? Fingers crossed that doesn't happen. But for, for yourself, you're a flourishing business now. Um, and you have your regular clients in your uh, different clinics, both in Eastbourne and Harley Street in London. But what would you advise your other um, industry peers in, to do in order to achieve their goals and get them through the last 12 months and focus on moving forward? Um, I think it's about still maintaining really good standards, really good practice. Um, at the moment, obviously, the demand is really high and potentially people could look at reducing existing appointment times to get more people in I don't think that's the right thing to do I think it's about maintaining good ethics good values um continuing to be the business that people want you to be um and um you know the PPE rules have changed like clients like people like to see that you're following those rules and some people if they don't just to I don't know, because you have to leave time, but for example, you have to leave time between clients to um, allow the room to kind of aerate. Mm -hmm. And yes, you could get people in that point, but you're not keeping people as safe. And I think it would be easy to kind of cut those corners. And I just think don't maintain the practice, maintain who you are, maintain your ethics of your business. And I think that will always stand you in good stead. Yeah, I agree completely. I think it's always great to publicize that as well isn't it do you do a lot of publication on um on social media of the the, the measures that you're taking and the steps that you're taking to keep people safe do you yeah find so we it? advertise our covid protocols um they're quite extensive so we advertise those quite often um you see the the pp measures within the clinic we have like um oh anti-fogging systems and all sorts of things um we have kind of gone i have really picked what the paramedic in the NHS field do and I've applied it to aesthetics it is above and beyond what's needed but I just think it's about keeping people safe and you've got a duty of care so you should that should kind of be the way we do things so um but yeah, yeah. I do model my business on the NHS and although aesthetics isn't regulated um by the CQC or things like that I've taken those practices and put them into my business and it's just about having good good morals isn't it and I think anyone yeah. who does that is going to be fine absolutely and I think exactly that you know there'll be people and part of the clientele that you hold there that will be absolutely racing to come back to you can't wait to come back mm. for their services their treatments but there will be a, a you know a handful of people or maybe more than a handful of people that are still really nervous a little bit scared not quite sure and I think you taking those measures and also publicising not in on Instagram, on Facebook, letting people know what the, the client journey looks like and what you're doing to, to keep them safe and yourself and your team can only be a good thing, I think. Definitely. And with that custom form on Booksy, they book their appointment, they see that straight away. So they already know they're going to be asked about that. So again, that like reassures them in terms of um the steps we're taking that they've met, they've booked that appointment and then um they, as soon as they booked it, Booksy's asking them all these questions about COVID and that's what we've created. So I think, again, that links to that and it's really, really important. Absolutely. Absolutely.